Okay, so I woke up two days ago and I looked down at my iPad and lo and behold it was bent. So it's got a bit of a U-shape now. It's It's got a dip. Uh, only on one side though, but it's still incredibly frustrating because this is like the nicest, most expensive iPad you can get. And here's the thing, I have been babying this thing, taking really good care of it the whole time and I still ended up with a bent iPad. And I have also pretty much kept it inside of this case 99% of the time. So I would have thought that this case would at least help a little bit with preventing the bend issue, but I guess not. So now my question is, does anyone else have the same problem? Are lots of people's iPads bending like crazy? If you bought the most recent iPad, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Did your iPad bend over the course of use? This thing is still in mint condition aside from the fact that it's now bent. So I'm just like, how the heck did it even happen? So the same day that I found out it was bent, I went ahead and set up an appointment at my local Apple store. So we're gonna take this down to the Apple store and find out what Apple has to say about the bent iPad. Is this gonna be covered under warranty. I believe I have the Apple Care Plus program for this iPad. Will the Apple Care Plus fix it for the $50 deductible or am I just straight out of luck? I don't know because this is just really disappointing. I mean I can still use the iPad but it's like noticeably warped. Maybe this is just Apple's first folding tablet. I don't know. Anyway so if I go to the Apple store and Apple doesn't really have anything positive to say about it I might try bending this back myself. Like can I just go like this and bend it back to normal-ish shape? I don't know, that seems really, really scary to me. Well, I guess, uh, yeah, it's time to pack up and head on out. What to? By the way, I just got my Tesla tinted. I think it looks really sick with the tint on it. I don't know, what do you guys think? All right, so let's go to the Apple Store now. I'm actually a few minutes late because there was a lot of traffic. Hopefully the Apple Store doesn't mind. Let's see what Apple says. I had an appointment for the Apple support yeah, for the uh, for my iPad. Yeah, what's going on with it? Uh, it's bent. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I can see that. Okay. Okay. So, Brian, other than this, how is your day going? Good. Yeah, good. good day. Good. Good. I know. Good day. I know that's not fun. Um, yeah, it sucks, especially when it's such an expensive product. I know, right? You got that from? Nothing. Like, it's just normal use, everyday wear and tear. I never did anything that made it That's like a backpack that. backpack or anything? I mean, I keep it in a backpack, but it's in a protective sleeve inside the backpack. I don't know when it could have possibly happened. Yeah, I'm going to get you checked in, okay? Then we'll get you taken care of. All right. Okay, here we are. This is our spot. This is gonna be really interesting to see what Apple says. I have no clue what to expect. This is taking a little bit. Got about five minutes now. There's all these Apple support people that are just standing around too, like, not even helping anyone. I guess it's kind of my fault because I was 10 minutes late past my appointment, so I'll, I'll take a little bit of hit here too. I guess that's about 12 minutes probably waiting. I hope I don't get a parking ticket because I only paid for an hour of parking. I am getting sleepy now. Well, the good news is I checked and they should have a exact copy of this iPad that I have here. 512 gig, 11 inch cellular. It cost $12.99 plus I bought the $129 AppleCare Plus. So the total is kind of ridiculous. The total is $14.28. That's how much this iPad costs. Okay, now we're at 20 plus minutes waiting. I might have to go renew my parking in my car. Yeah. Hey. Nice to meet you. Where are you up yet today? Uh, I just saw it on the description, bent iPad. Oh goodness. I actually have not seen that yet. Let's take a peek though. Oh goodness me, yeah, that's got a that's got a big one in there. Yeah, it's pretty bent, huh? Yeah, if you put it on a flat surface you can really see the bend. Oh for sure, yeah. yeah. Well let's see what we can do with and this. As one. far as I know, I've 
done nothing to cause the bend. It just happened over time. Then two days ago, I noticed it. Okay. I don't know. That's to my best of knowledge. No incident happened. I just woke up. I was like, what? It's bent? This is weird. Nice. Well, let's see what we can do. Like, I was like, should I just bend it back? Or <laughs> I probably should take it to Apple first before I try to do anything myself. I, I, I feel like that was a good choice. Yeah. Um, Things like aluminum, as I understand it with like auto body work, when cars have been switching more and more to aluminum, it's caused you know, issues with straightening cars because everybody's been used to you know sheet steel for so long. Uh -huh. uh, aluminum has different compounds to make it you know or different properties rather to make it more difficult to shape back into the way it was. So uh, I think okay. that not trying to bend that was a good good idea. Gotcha. I'll ask you first. Do you have a backup of the data on here? Uh, just the stuff that would be uploaded to iCloud, you know. Okay. So what is the typical uh, method that you guys, what, what, what are we going to do here? Well, usually when there's a bend, uh, we would go forward with a device replacement of some kind. I want to consult my uh, inspection guy just to make sure, Okay. see what, uh, what we're going to do with the situation like this. Because okay. typically with a bend device, uh, that would be something that's considered to be accidental damage of some kind. Um, even when we can't remember incidents that may have occurred to cause that, or if we just simply didn't observe it happen, things like that don't happen of their own accord, typically. Uh, and so when we see a device that's bent, we would see a replacement. I would tend to agree with you, but I think in this case, this iPad is just so weak that just normal putting it in under your bag, you know, it's going to be slightly torqued over time, you know, just through very minor daily use and I feel like that's maybe what would have happened you're not like someone stepping on it you know yeah. I th that's what that's my take on it at least this time well I'll consult my repair guide here and just see what what it says in terms of bends what our course of action should be because this okay. is the first one of the iPad Pro uh, third generations I've seen with any kind of bends gotcha now I just want to stop for a moment and make a point uh, there is no way that this Apple service tech knows how many iPad Pros are being bent right now. There's no way we can know without getting feedback from other users and seeing the overall metadata that Apple has for their repairs. So what I really want to know is, is this affecting other people or was it just me? Did I accidentally step on the iPad or some weird instant where I bent the iPad myself? If that's the case, it's totally my fault and I understand, but I'm just worried that these iPad Pros are being bent with normal everyday use that they should be able to withstand but they're not and i think that should be covered under your typical warranty did you see the uh bend test that jerry rig everything did on this no, I don't he just threw this hand just went super easy to seems like a weird thing to do with the expensive he does, piece of technology he does he does bend tests on all the new technology but this was one of like the most bendable products he's ever seen probably the most bendable huh. for any like tablet or phone the iPad Pro is a thin, ridgeless aluminum sack with no structure holding things together. So, I mean, it's something that I was worried about and trying to be very careful of, you know, like always keeping it in the case, always keeping it in safe places, you know. I mean, cases alone, I will say, are, are great for impact protection. They're not great for bend protection, as most of them are made of plastic or some other material that bends sooner than aluminum does. Uh, any sort of sustained force on a device that would cause a bend uh, would bend the case first uh, before it bends the device. I see. Okay, hold up. I gotta stop it right there for a second. I gotta make a point that a device should be designed to withstand day-to-day -day use without bending. That's a core part of a strong, normally built technological device. People are gonna be carrying these iPads around with them everywhere. They're gonna put them in bags with other heavy objects. It should be able to withstand uh, at least a minimum amount of force. I don't know what that minimum amount of force is, but it should be daily use compatible without bending. But it gotcha. does look like in this case, a bent enclosure, it would be eligible for service, but it would be considered as an accidental damage out of warranty okay. service. I believe I have Apple Care Plus on you this. You do, yeah. So. And so you have a replacement cost that so will be substantially lower compared to what it would ordinarily What would it be normally if I didn't have Apple Care Plus? Let's find out. Uh, the regular replacement flat rate for an iPad Pro 11 inch model is $499. $499. That comes down to 49. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Apple Care definitely paying off. 
on that front. Don't you have a limited number of uses of that, though? You have two per uh, the two-year term that you have. Probably worth doing then, but part of me is like tempted to just try to like put some heavy books on it and see if it flattens out, But because then I don't have to pay money and don't have to like set up a whole new device. I don't know. That's all conjecture, you know, hard to say. It is, yeah. I mean, at the very worst, if that is something that you wanted to try, uh, we can have a replacement on deck for you waiting just in case. Gotcha. Yeah. Do I go for the attempted self-repair or do I just get the, re the replacement? And actually, the I should let you know, just as a note on here, I don't have this device in stock today that I can issue as a replacement. Um, um, I was checking online and you guys had it in stock, the exact same model. That model may be here for sale as a device for a customer who's buying one fresh. But as um, far as my service replacement stock, I am completely depleted. So you'd have to like ship it to me or something or what? I'd be able to order it in and have it here for you to pick up when it's ready. So why don't we try that, I guess. So, and then I'll try maybe putting some books on it and seeing what happens and then canceling the pickup, I guess, if I... Certainly. So I don't have to use the fifty dollars in the replacement or the replacement time. Because the main thing I'm worried about is if the gla grass, uh, glass cracked. Yes. That's probably the most likely scenario. How long do you think it'll take before the replacement iPad come in? Usually pretty short turnaround on that. Probably about three to five days typically, okay. uh, and we'll let you know as soon as it arrives. Okay. So is that everything then for now? Good to go. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks for coming in. Man. All right. Have a good one. You too. Just in time to walk back to the car and get out of here before I uh, get a ticket. Oh, okay, so that answers the question. It's $500 if you have a Ben iPad, but because I have Apple Care Plus, it's only $49. So, yay, Apple Care Plus. That said, I am going to try to bend this back on my own so I don't have to use one of these uh, replacements because you only get two of them with this Apple Care Plus program. So, I prefer to save them and obviously not spend the $50 if I can. Now I will be attempting to bend my iPad back to flat using a cinder block. So if you don't want to miss out on that video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this uh, video, hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next one. How am I going to bend this iPad? <laughs> I'm thinking two cinder blocks with some books, maybe? Yeah, I think that'll probably work or it'll actually just crush the glass and everything, but it doesn't matter. It's replacement, right? And he told me to do it, so whatever.